recently used to give. One brother used to give the sisters, yeah, yeah, sisters yeah. who passed away their yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other family, yeah. you'll find like two, three generations down there have the grandfathers. Yeah. It was very interesting. So, Martin, how much did you find out so far of your family roots? Not very far. Uh, I know the birth, I know the marriage of my great great grandfather in Giri in 1838. He was a Duarte. He was a Duarte. Uh, Marcos Duarte. And his father's name I have is uh, Domingos Duarte. But uh, they were born in Giri. And the uh, wife's family is from Nagoa. In Nagoa. Bardes, Bardes. Bardes, uh, Dia Sonu? Um, that I, I have it with yeah, me okay. somewhere on paper, yeah, so but... You, you uh, take my number and WhatsApp me the details and... Uh, yeah. She'll give you the connection. Because, um, you know, the funny thing is, um, I've been doing this family research, in family tree, and... Uh, at the individual level, at the individual level, yeah, individual level, the family. And, um, like, you know, the other day somebody called me up by chance because of a, of a general post I had put Did you have coffee? Room. Have a cup of coffee, please. You, you're you waiting to be asked. Please, please, please. <laughs> Come. Wait, I'll first take the number. Uh, nine, five. Nine, five. Four, five. Five, four. Three, five. Double, seven. Paula. Yes, uh, Paula. Paula and this 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 They are brigandas from Mapsa. And the brigandas related to those who owned Braganza Hotel in Lahore? In where? In Lahore. Lahore. Maybe. Where are they from? Which part of Goa are they from? That I don't know, but I you, because those Braganzas they all so married the Raymond family. Yeah, there are there are Braganzas who in Karachi, Lahore. Yes. Raymond, Raymond is their surname. But, yes, the Raymond is the there was a, a judge on the high court in the 1950s, 50s, 60s. But his name is Raymond. But actually, his real name was. I, Generations yeah. brother, Raimondo okay. Souza. Okay. So they, they anglicized it to Raymond. To become a bit Anglo Indian. Yes. Yeah. But actually, they are going. Yeah. That's interesting. Give me a list So I see your number. You said your the Duat uh, name is. No, tracking family trees can be a bit of a challenge, but once you find uh, the right people, you will... Yeah. Faust, Faust from uh, Karachi, from yeah. London, knows a lot about Karachi. Yes, you know, you're in touch with yeah, Faust. Yes, sir. Sir. You know something, he got in touch with me and we did some exchange. Then he said, I'm going on a break to Azor, even for a holiday. Yeah. And then, no. No, you have to keep, he's a busy guy, so. Yeah, so I didn't write to him. I wasn't too sure whether I should follow up, like, you know. This is my Indian number yeah. and I will text you my Belgium. when I'm back in Belgium. So how many years have you been tracking your roots now? Since the first time I contacted you through the Goanet. Which year? That was in the uh, 2000. One, wow. I think and then in 2003 I received a message thanks to the Goanet okay. uh, from my second cousin who was living in Porvori and she said I think I'm family which I didn't know and she's still alive she now lives in Porvori and is 97 Wow. So you met up recently. I met her again. This is your first trip to Goa? Second. Second. Because the first time I wrote an article that you published on yeah. Goa Reader. Goa Net Reader. Yeah. A fortnight in Goa it was. Yeah. Okay. My okay. Impressions. Write one more this time. Um, but I'm thinking of writing down but everything I know so far of all those two words. Um, there are Duarts in Panchen also, but they are Portuguese. They say they are not related. They say they are, they are no re uh, relation with uh, Giri. Bombay or the... Uh, Some Duarts are from a different language, in which case, yeah. from a different country, uh, village. In which case they are totally separate. They are just sharing the same name. 
Yeah. But if they have Duarts from the same village, then you know. What about our friend Duart from Mapsa? What's his name? Joseph Duart. Joey, Joey. They are from yeah. where? So they his, his uh, grandmother was with cancer. From and where? And his dad is a Duart. That's what I'm from where? in touch. I'm not too sure where he is. The, the geography is most important because otherwise like there could be Noronas all over the yeah. place but they are not connected. But we were, uh, my great grandfather, he was Lorenzo Caetano Duart. And he started Ilaco, the Ilaco insurance, company. insurance company. It was big. It was big. Yes. So, Ilaco was big. And uh, he had thirteen children. I see. In those and, days. Yes. Everyone <laughs> and, had and big families. And the males, they actually all went to Karachi. Okay. And the women once married, they stayed in Goa. I see. Or, or they went to uh, Bombay. Bombay. Um, and that that way, the family also split a bit. And then definitely after the uh, partition. Um, Who migrated to Belgium? Uh, my mother. mother. In when, which year? In 1962. Oh. My father came to Karachi. Yeah. Uh, uh, for the, uh, the parish priest in Karachi was Father James of Souza. We called him Father, Father Jimmy. Father Jimmy. Jimmy. Very close to my village. In my village, three, three lanes well, away, two lanes away. He's also related. He recently died. Yes, a few years ago. But he married my parents. And he, he married your parents. And then when I went to Karachi, I always met him. He was a very nice... Nice, nice, nice very friendly, person. friendly yes. person. In which, uh, what did your father come to Karachi for? To, to start up the young Christian workers. So YCW father, was very, very big in Belgium for some yes, reason. Yes, because the cardinal who started it was a Belgian. Kaljan Nimjan, what's his name? Karden. Karden. C-A-R-D-I-J-N. Karden. And then uh, Father Jimmy asked some assistance. Okay. And my father wanted to go abroad. But yeah. not to the French because his French was not good. Okay. Otherwise he would have to go to Congo. Okay. So then they asked uh, someone in Pakistan. Okay. But he didn't know about Pakistan was a He country. was not religious. He was not religious. He's, he's Catholic. No, no, but he was not he was not a priest. No, 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 no. He was a youngster. And then he went for four years to Karachi. Four years. And there he met my mother. Yeah. And then they married. My sister was born there. And born then there. they came to Belgium also with my grandmother. In which year? In 62. But there it is. Because my grandfather, Gowen, Armando Duarte, who was a doctor, he married a Jewish woman. I see. So it's very complicated. Uh, family. Yes. No, but see, a lot of Goan families have this inter intermixing. Yes, so, so it's not it's not unusual. And it's not, uh, you know, it has been happening. It's not, yeah. it's but not it's like a, not a scandal. Because your roots get spread yeah. out. No, it's, it's, it's not, it's, but it's, it's my, a, I feel a certain, uh, closeness. No. Empathy. No. No. It's a bit nervous, uh, always on, I, there's no ease in me because there's yes, No, no, but I'll tell you one I thing. In Goa, because of migration and because of intermarriage, everyone, almost everyone has a migration experience. Yes. Yeah. May not be so much intermarriage but now it is happening and it's not it's not looked down upon or it's not scandal no 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 yeah. it's not scandal okay, correct so even at that time i think there were a lot of people who married uh, outside yeah the yeah so it was just beginning it started see in in for the portuguese race was never a big thing assimilation class it, it was the it was the people who you know the people who got converted who stuck to their caste system and their see caste they, they never got rid of it caste, it became caste caste the portuguese could understand because it tied up with their feudal feudal structure but but race like skin color was not such a big thing for the portuguese as far as as say compared to the british that's that's my argument you know, like people were marrying Edila Gaitonde and all were marrying in the 1920s, you know, in the heat of, of the colonial, anti colonial kind of bitterness. So, whereas among the, in, the, in British uh, India, it was, it was, you know, because they came at a later stage. I don't know, it's, it works itself, plays itself out differently. But it's really fascinating. Uh, do tell me what is your grandfather's name? Uh, Lorenzo Caetano Duarte. Any year? 
Uh, yeah. Born in 1844. I think we found his birth, and um, we don't know when he married because he might marry in Karachi or he might have married. In Goa, but in Goa, I didn't find yeah. anything. He's done, he's done there. But uh, you know, thought this would have been communion. Communion? Because they registered the communion in Giri. You need, you need people who will cooperate. Giri, the San Diego Church. San Diego. San Diego. San Diego. Okay, yeah. So you ask, try and check, ask to personally check and see if they allow you the baptism. And also the year. Year. Sorry. Yeah, he has a year and everything. But what happens just because of distance, no one has to follow it. Then no one to do it because it's it's a bottomless pit. Like there is no end to the God certificate means that you have to do it. You may or may not find. Guaranteed. 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 Guaranteed.